What's up guys, it's your boy Ace Madden. For those of you who want an edge on your competition in Madden 17, check the description for details and obtain my lethal mini schemes. What's up guys, it's your boy Ace coming at you again with another Madden tip. And today we're out of the Minnesota Vikings playbook. Been out of it for the past two days I think. And we've actually been in this formation for the past couple videos I've posted gun empty bunch i love this formation there's so much versatility to it you really can't run the ball but that's okay you can really change up your pass protection that's very important when you start playing good players who know how to send blitzes from both sides um so that's why i love the formation so gun empty bunch and we're gonna go over a play where you can beat cover three in one play so one play touchdown not always. There's two setups. One's uh, about a 30-yard gain. The other one's a one-play touchdown. So, Vikes Trails, I guess short for Vikings Trail. Go to cover three. We'll do cover three sky. <clears throat> I'm going to show you the one-play touchdown setup first. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to put X on a comeback. Very traditional setup here. We're going to put A on a streak. Motion him in and then... L, uh, hit your left bumper and then go to max protect so that'll automatically make it easy for us to block both y and rb so this is your max protection no blitz is going to get through this you're blocking seven the edges are sealed so snap the ball get out of the pocket should have waited a little bit longer so he didn't get hit like that i'll do that again for you <clears throat> excuse me Streak A should look just like this. Max protect. Let's wait a little bit longer this time. And just like that, we get a one-play touchdown. So it's a little tight. You know, the, the cornerbacks, it's a, it's a cover three sky, so he's not biting too bad on the comeback like he would on a cover three match or something like that. But it still works. We got seven against four. We got plenty of double teams. We're getting time in the pocket. And more than likely, it's going to work the first time you use it against your opponent. Unless he just recognizes, you know, he sees the bunch formation. Usually, when people start motioning into a bunch formation or they see a bunch formation, if they're a good player, they're going to pick up on what you're trying to do. That's where the PA shot seam comes out of. Everybody loves to use it. I don't know if anybody watched the Madden Bowl, but everybody and their mother has that play. So, they'll essentially you know motion from a shotgun tight doubles or something and they'll motion over into a bunch set because bunch sets can really make this kind of shit happen so again and then i'll go to my other setup got some pressure had to get rid of it a little quicker than i wanted to so this other one is more of a safe bet this is something that you know if he's using your your post route that's going to get open, you know, for the one play touchdown. This gives you a little insurance. And you really don't need Peterson blocking. He's a luxury to have blocking. So what we're going to do, put him on a streak. Um, leave A on a drag. X on a comeback. We're going to block Y. So this, we have a little backup. We have a drag that we can get it to him if we want. We can get it to... How do you fucking throw it that terribly? My God. He's usually going to be open for about a 30-yard gain in this setup against cover three. There's no user. Let's try that again. You know, he comes over, makes a tackle. He can jar it loose. But, you know, let's possession catch it see what happens. Should look like this. Allows you to double team the left edge. Dude, I don't fucking get it, man. They spent a first round draft pick on this guy. Are you kidding me? Let's try it again. I'm going to make sure my feet are set this time. There we go. Maybe that's what, that's what it was. Either way, I mean, I wasn't moving that fast. I wasn't like scrambling or anything. Possession catch, get your 30 yards. So 
that's a safe bet. And then obviously, like I said, if he decides to use her in the post, he knows it's coming. You know, you have the option for about a five yard gain. Because, I mean, that, that curl to flat's going to drop for the comeback. If he's playing a hard flat, then the comeback's going to get open. So, that's the play, guys. Uh, very simple. I know it's uh, not a unique setup, but it's a unique setup out of a unique formation. I haven't really seen it out of this formation. I've seen it posted out of others, but not this one. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the play. Please drop a like if you did. And as always, if you enjoy Daily Madden Tips, please hit the sub button. Appreciate it, guys.